Okay, we need to talk about The Witcher. Hey guys, just want to say real quick, this video is sponsored by Talkspace, the online therapy company, a website that lets you get matched with a professional therapist that can really help your mental health. I use it myself, it's amazing, I can't recommend it enough. Anyone can get there without traveling to an office. Join the one million people who already feel happier, and you can pay on a sliding scale basis. Talkspace, the preferred therapy provider. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from my usual video essays. Uh, because I wanted to have more of like a face-to-face -face discussion with you guys because I think this is a really important topic. Now, when I say that we need to talk about The Witcher, I, I don't mean the games. Uh, everything that needs to be said about those has already been said, and, you know, well, they're perfect, so what more is there to say? No, I I'm talking about the Netflix adaptation of The Witcher. Now, when I say adaptation, I use quotes because it doesn't really seem like anyone involved in developing this show actually gives a shit about the source material. To give a little context to the situation for those unfamiliar, uh, Netflix recently sent out a casting call for a BAME actress for the role of Siri. BAME means Black, Asian, and Minority Ethnicity People. That means that Netflix wasn't just open to the idea of having a non-white actress play Siri, but they were deliberately looking for a non-white actress to play a traditionally white character. Hmm. I wonder what we call it when somebody is excluded from certain economic or civic opportunities based on their race. Gee, if only there were a word for that. Hmm. Blackwashing aside, though, this is one particular problem with The Witcher series for one specific very big reason. For those of you unaware, The Witcher games are based off of a series of books by a Polish author by the name of Andrzej Sapkowski. The games are actually direct sequels to the story of the books, with the first game picking up not long after the last book ends. The stories and monsters of the books are largely based in Eastern European, specifically Polish, history and folklore, meaning that these books are a huge part of Polish heritage. So naturally, all the main characters of the series are ethnically Slavic, because that's the culture that the series has its roots in. These books are a huge deal in Poland, and they're kind of analogous to the Bible there. In all honesty, you wouldn't have to look too long to find a house with the Witcher books mounted over their mantle. They're that big a deal there. So when a big American media company like Netflix takes an interest in a Polish work of fiction, it's a huge deal for the entire country, and when that same company decides to take the series and begin changing the ethnicities of the characters purely for the sake of forced diversity, that's a huge slap in the face to millions of people living in Poland. It's like Hollywood coming in and saying that because Polish people are white, their history and culture does not matter. To them, everybody who's white is just the same thing. They don't realize that there are subcategories of white people and that there's like a ladder or hierarchy of races. And I'm not just mad about Siri being non-white, I'm also mad about Henry Cavill being English too, so don't just default to calling me racist. Furthermore- Hey, did you see that they posted the castles today? Oh, no. Yeah, Siri is- um, white, she's from, like, Oxfordshire, England. Whew. Thank God she's not a nigger.